Autodesk has released 3ds Max 2024.2, the new version of its modeling and rendering software. Double the normal development time for a 3ds Max update. While Autodesk usually puts out updates to 3ds Max every three months, it has been six months since the release of 3ds Max 2024.1 and presumably, as a result of the extra development time, the change log for 3ds Max 2024-2 is rather longer than usual. We have a lot of things we get improvement in all departments in modeling, performance, material, rendering, and more. If you are also excited about it, let's get started. Hi, welcome to Mimbiz. Updated Assign Controller Rollout the Assign Controller rollout has been modernized with options to help animators work more efficiently. The Motion Panel Assign Controller rollout has been improved so that the panel is responsive and resizes to correctly fit the length and width of the command panel. These changes build on recent animation controller improvements, the new Transform List controller and other UI updates. Boolean Modifier Updates the release contains several Boolean modifier updates, including better sub-operand manipulation in the modifier stack, improved performance, and OpenVDB processing, and various bug fixes. Coplanar faces support. New support for Coplanar operands produces better results when working with subtract, union, split, imprint, or cookie Boolean operations. Coplanar operands means operands with faces that are perfectly aligned, so that they are touching but not overlapping. Retopology updates. The introduction of a new version of Autodesk Reform improves processing times by up to 30%. Conform modifier. The conform modifier lets you move a spline or mesh onto the surface of one or more other meshes. The conform modifier performs actions parametrically, letting you change the relationship between the conform object and the target surface after the initial conform operation has been performed. This lets you manipulate the look and feel of your model without any explicit modeling like bending or shaping. As a result, you save time because basic modeling steps like roughing out geometry and performing manual refinements are eliminated. You can also animate your deformations created with the conform modifier. For example, a conform object can be animated as it moves across a target surface. Two projection methods volume and shrink wrap control how the spline or mesh is moved onto the surface of the other meshes or target objects volume tries to preserve the overall shape of the conform object after it's projected onto the target mesh shrink wrap shrinks the entire conform surface around the target like wrapping a piece of cellophane the conform object around another object the target object as a result the volume of the conform object is not preserved. Between the two different methods, shrink wrap is the most commonly used. Spline shape angle constraint. A new option in the snap options lets you define your own angle constraint to better assist you with angle snaps when holding shift button while creating lines or line objects. If you want to define your angle limit, go to this path. Tools, Grids, and Snaps. Now click on Grid and Snap Settings, and go to the Options tab. Now you can define your own angle constraint when creating a line object using the Create panel or the Create Line operation in the Editable Spline or Edit Spline modifier. Previously, holding Shift button constrained line creation to 90 degree value changes. Now. The default of 15 degrees can be changed to any value or turned off altogether to customize the snapping used to constrain the line creation. Volume Select Modifier Updates The Volume Select Modifier 
now features a significant performance improvement and the ability to animate material ID and SEM group values, providing more immediate results. Volume Select Modifier performance is now up to 10x faster, providing more immediate results. Data Channel Modifier Additions Several updates including new presets, expression engines, and a MaxScript process operator improve the data channel modifier's usability. The following new presets can now be accessed from the Data Channel Modifiers Presets drop-down menu. Explode Elements, Map to Soft Selection, Random Element Color, and Smooth Push. See Data Channel Interface. Reduced Scene File Sizes Scenes are no longer saved with empty animation layers, note tracks, and note keys, reducing file size. Work has been done to address problems with increased file size on save. Now, when you save a file in 3ds Max 2024.2, unnecessary data is detected and no longer saved. Previously, every time scenes were merged or x refed animation layers would accumulate and result in huge files and performance slowdowns. The unnecessary data includes R, Empty animation layers. Duplicate note track keys. Note tracks persisting on file load. The update improves performance in several of 3ds Max's key modifiers, including the Boolean modifier and Push, Relax, Xform, and Volume Select. The latter is now up to 10x faster. In addition, the Retopology tools are now up to 30% faster. There are workflow improvements to the animation tools and more. So I suggest that you definitely do this update. Comment on your opinion about these features and say which one of these features was more attractive to you. You can support MimViz by liking, commenting, and subscribing. See you in the next video.